Hey guys, Rusty K, Rusty K's Rad Rods Garage. I wanted to do a little bit of a different video today and shame on me for not doing spoon tests in the past. I've just never done it. Um, I see a lot of people do it and I probably should do it. So um, I went out and I got this new Createx color, uh, the Wicked Colors. And I was at Hobby Lobby picking up the rest of the stash and I picked this up. Um, and so I figured before I actually threw it down on a car, I should probably do a spoon test just to see how it works. Um, and so I'm going to go through what, what I did. I also picked up the 4011 reducer, which is what they recommend. So, and then I will go and I will actually polish this and shine it here on camera. I have not done any polish and shine, but I did clear coat it. So how I have these spoons set up is I did... Uh, with reducer and without reducer. Um, the directions say you can spray it right out of the bottle, um, but you can add reducer if you'd like. So I'll tell you what, what my reaction was with this. So I've got four spoons here um, with reducer and without reducer. So let me go ahead and go through what we have here. This is uh, just a plastic with reducer. There is no prime on this. Um, I did also prime it too, so I should say that. Um, with with the reducer, and the reduce, reducer is a 10 to 1 ratio. So I just did drops and uh, used my um, little droplet, dropette, pipette, and uh, put it in a little jar and mixed it up. This is with clear coat on it. And this is the uh, gray primer with reducer. So you get a little bit of a deeper look, obviously. But let me show you the difference. So there's a difference with the with the gray, and the and the just the white plastic. And this is with reducer, um, with the Createx. Now this is just plastic, uh, plastic only without the reducer. Right? They all came out shiny. This is obviously clear coated. And then this is the plastic, or this is the gray, uh, without the reducer. Now. I'm not sure if this is going to show on camera very well, but you can see very slight variances between, here this one probably shows good, maybe for you guys, we'll see. Um, with the reducer, this, these are both gray with the reducer and without the reducer. So I am not sure if you can see the difference, but the with the reducer is actually a little lighter and I think it may be because with the reducer um, you get a little bit more uh, length out of the spray I mean because you're thinning it out right so you get a little bit more um, so I did the same amount of coats on both I think these are four coats of paint so with the reducer if I wanted to get the same results um, I would have to probably put a couple more coats on so I'm not sure the benefit of putting the reducer it does flow a little bit better through the gun but if I've got to put more coats on to get the same finish I'm looking for, is it worth putting the reducer in? I guess that's my point. Um, and then again, here is um, with reducer and without reducer, just on the plastic. Um, again, the with reducer. Um, actually, this one came out just the opposite, I think. This one came out a little bit lighter. And this is with without reducer. But yeah, so, so, so the same, actually. So, but so there, there's a differences. Now, what I'm going to do is, like I said, these are also, I did clear coat this with the uh, extreme lacquer wet look uh, on all these to make sure to see what the reaction was because the Createx is a water based um, with some additives, I believe is what it is. Um, but it says right there. Apply straight from the gun, or you can use the redu reducer. So what I do when I polish, and I'll just do a couple spoons here. <clears throat> I use the, I always go to, if I don't need to get anything deep, I'll always use the two, right? Um, so I'll just show you what I do here. And I'm just going to just do a dab. My dispenser, the actual squeeze thing is clogged up. So I'm just going to grab just a little bit for the spoon. So just a little bit on the spoon. I'll grab the gray with the reducer and then just going to rub this in. And again, I'm using a terry cloth here, right? And 
I rub it until it's almost pretty much gone. And this is the Novus 2. The Novus 3 would be if you have some major scratches you need to get out or if you have a little bit more orange peel. This didn't come out with any orange peel in this at all. Um, so it did, it did spray out really, really nice. And then I'm going to go ahead and just buff it real quick with. So these really don't even need to be polished, but um, I figured since I was doing the. So there's just the polish for the, the Novus 2. And then I come behind it and I'll give it just a quick spray with the polish. Just a quick spray. And there again, just rub it out. And if you want to, after you do this, you can always go through with some sort of McGuire's wax. Um, I don't always do that, but... Uh, and there she is. So I am a fan so far of this Createx paint. Um, it did spray fine out of the out of the bottle. Um, it did spray just a tad bit better with the reducer, of course. Um, but uh, I didn't find the advantage of using the reducer um, as far as the color. It did change the color a little bit, so I'd probably have to do more coats. The only difference I was really trying to look for is the difference between the uh, primer and the and the no primer or even white primer. Um, but love this color. This is the Laguna Blue, 0013 by Createx. And there again, I used the Createx with the Createx reducer with the Extreme Lacquer wet look, wet look Finish Clear Coat. And then the Novus products is what I do to go behind it. So a little bit of a different video for me. I don't normally do this, but I figured since I was trying these paints for the first time, I'd give it a go, see how it came out. And, and I am impressed with how these paints came out. And we will be trying to figure out what kit this is going to go on. Guys, I hope you're having a great football Sunday. We'll chat soon.